get ready for candy crushing madness to take over Facebook. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Another wave of Candy Crush game posts may soon pop up on your Facebook feed. A sequel to the popular puzzle game was released earlier this month. It's called Candy Crush Soda Saga. The company behind the game, King, has been flooding Facebook with commercials, and people are watching. In the first day, the video ads were viewed by 100 million people across seven countries. According to King and Facebook, about 70% of people viewed the ad on a mobile device. And to put that in perspective, go back two years ago when Facebook went public. Back then, only 5% of mobile ads were on Facebook. This year, Facebook is expected to make up about 22% of the global mobile ad market. Google takes up about 50%. And in case you're unaware of this new version, now the candy puzzle includes purple soda and gummy bears. But here's a less addicting app for you. The Google Maps app for Android has been updated with a new feature that may come in handy for your holiday road trips. The app now shows the current weather at your destination. And if you search for a place, such as a hotel or a restaurant, it'll show you some details about the place, maybe even a review. T-Mobile is trying to sweeten things up with its Music Freedom program. Customers can stream music from their phones without the data being counted against their plan. And now T-Mobile has added more streaming services, including Google Play Music, Xbox Music, and SoundCloud. T-Mobile says an average of 200 terabytes of music is streamed each day on their network. That's about 66 million songs. Now, if you want to get your entertainment the old-fashioned way of picking up a movie at the Redbox video machine, be prepared to pay a little more. On Tuesday, December 2nd, the price of a DVD from Redbox goes from $1.20 to $1.50 a night, and Blu-rays are $2. The kiosks will also increase the price of games in January to $3 a night. Now, when it comes to wearable technology, most folks are familiar with activity tracking wristbands and smartwatches and that kooky Google Glass. But if you're the type that wishes you could wear a camera on your shirt for continuous monitoring of your day, well, there's the narrative clip. It captures a photo every 30 seconds and it just got an upgrade with a desktop app. Now, along with the Android and iOS app, you can also use your desktop computer to browse the endless, unflattering, and pointless photos taken from the perspective of your shirt collar. That's your Tech News Update. For more, you can always head to CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey. Thank <laughs> you.